Previously on Tyranny of Dragons. Governor! A guard who was stationed on one end of the parapet suddenly calls out, Dragon incoming! He points to the sky and you all look up to see the wide open jaw of the blue dragon. Its wings flapping with increased speed as it hurtles towards you. Roll for initiative. Oh shit, we're not ready for this. Just roll your dice, Shapiro. Worst case, we'll pimp you out to the dragon, and the rest of us can just bail the fuck out of here. Asshole. Work together and you'll be fine. Let's fucking go! From where you stand, you can see the dragon above you. Hurtling towards you at great speed, its mouth is opening and the bright light of its electric breath weapon attack begins forming. Escobar pulls out a horn from his belt and blows deeply into it. You hear the many hurried footsteps of armor-clad soldiers running around below. He grabs Night Hill's arm and makes for the door of the tower. We're sitting ducks here. Guards are positioned around the wall tops. They'll try to draw its attention to give us time. Move! And they run at full speed towards the door and out of sight. We haven't got much time. I look at Swolnold. I know you don't trust me right now, but I hope my actions will change that. Depends on your actions, Gnome. It better be something epic. Those pads on Swole's shoulders, are they feathers or fur, Donald? A bit of both, why? I jump up and grab one of the feathers off of the shoulder pads and begin running towards the ledge. You guys go, I'll draw its attention. What are you going to do? Something epic. I pull out one of the vials of Elixir of Time and consume it as a bonus action. As you drink the potion, you feel a surge of energy rush through your body. I'm going to pass you a note as to what the side effect is. Then I will cast Firebolt at the dragon. Your firebolt is a direct hit on the dragon. This has indeed got its attention as it roars in anger. I leap over the side using the feather I cast, feather fall on myself, and as I fall, I look back and smile at the others. And your feather fall reaction takes effect as you descend over the ledge. Okay, I'll admit it, that is pretty badass. And you got a hit on the dragon, noise. What's the side effect of the potion? You'll find out soon enough, but for now I end my turn in a slow descent the rest of you. Fixed in position where you stand as you are in shock as to what you just saw, hear someone shout, Loose! And an array of arrows shoot into the sky at the approaching dragon. Most simply bounce off its scales, but one embeds itself into one of its nostrils. The dragon roars even louder and fires its electric breath at the soldiers, killing three on impact and severely injuring six more. It swoops low over the keep and begins ascending, beating its wings furiously. I run to the door. I don't think it's finished yet, but Bama and those soldiers just bought us some time to get off here. Let's go! And use my turn to run down the stairs. I stare for a moment at the slowly descending gnome before turning around and also using my turn to run down the stairs. At this time, I can't do a whole lot, so I will also use my turn to get downstairs. Bama, you have fallen 60 feet from the ledge of the tower and land on your feet onto the wall parapet that surrounds the keep without taking any fall damage. A few moments later, the others come running out of one of the doors of the tower. I smile at the others. Did you see that just now? You may be asking how? For I stand here with no damage upon my feet. This spell of mine is mighty neat. That was nicely put, but let's try focusing on what the dragon will do next, Bam Bam. Of course, we must prepare for its next attack. While it turns, I will shoot at its back. Then when it comes in for a bite, you and Swole can hit it with all your might. What the fuck has got into him? It must be the side effect of the potion he took. I shake my head at them. I don't know what you think you see, but there is nothing wrong with me. Come on, tiny gnome. You were starting to look as cool as my now deformed nip. Don't ruin it with all this rhyming shit. I have had enough of all this dribble. I can no longer remain civil. First you look down on me for being little, then to be compared to your missing nipple. My patience for you is becoming brittle. You want more of my power, magic missile. Your missiles, one after the other, have enough range on them to make contact with the dragon, although slightly more than 100 feet away. Its roar is as loud as ever, as it is already turning back and coming straight for you. I end my turn by running and heading through the door that the others used. You see the soldiers that remain raise their bows, and as the dragon gets close, they fire as one. Another volley of arrows hit its face. This time three are successful at sticking, and the dragon crashes into the wall. It clings to the sides, its sharp claws piercing the stone, creating long cracks as it grips tightly. 
its head high up above you all, and it glares down at the guards, opening its jaw wide. You see the intense light of its breath weapon. You can hear a charging-like sound as it ramps up. Several of the soldiers raise their swords and run at it, shouting as they do. The dragon blasts them apart, killing the six injured from before and injuring another five, leaving only six left. And yourselves, of course. It's close enough for us to hit it, Swole. Let's go. And I rush forward and strike at it with my longsword. You're successful and make contact. Your blade makes the tiniest of cuts on its scales, and its eyes flash at you and lets out a strange growl, gurmly and sharpen. As you speak Draconic, you can understand what it is saying. Pathetic humans. This is not worth my time. Stay and fight, I yell at it. You came here to destroy this town, and now you want to run because someone stood against you? You are nowhere near strong enough for me to consider you a challenge. Xi'an Wrath wants his fun. Then he can have it. I have done what was asked of me. Who is Xi'an Wrath? What is it you want? If you're not going to fight us, then at least tell us what this is all about. Who do you think you puny mortals are in questioning me? We're the ones who will put a stop to all of this. Ha! A foolish notion. You cannot stop what has begun. She will rise and bring about an age of glory for all dragons, and you mortals will burn to ash. And with that, the dragon beats his powerful wings, rips part of the wall he clung to into pieces, and flies up into the night sky. Wait, that's it? I didn't get to do anything? That's it. I feel like I was cheated out of an awesome fight. This is pretty bullshit. Donald, had I allowed a full-scale fight against this dragon, you would have all been killed in one hit. No exaggeration. It was pretty cool to have a small fight with a dragon this early on, though. Of course you would say that. You and Biden were the only ones who got to do a damn thing. I want some action. Don't worry, Donald. Something tells me you'll get your wish. Now, let us continue on. The soldiers that are unhurt begin lifting the injured. The door to the tower opens and Bama and Escobar walk through. Good job, lads. You sent that beast packing. It seemed more likely the beast didn't consider us much of anything and left. But it did mention Kyanrath. That name has come up before. Sharpen, did you get the feeling it was stalling for something? I don't know, maybe. I did what was asked of me. That's what it said, but all it's done is kill a handful of guards. Why not take down the whole keep? Its claws were ripping through this wall like it was nothing. And what did it mean when it said, she will rise? Who was it talking about? Has to be a dragon, the way it spoke suggests so. I feel we keep coming across more questions as the night goes on. I am getting a strange feeling about all this, like it feels familiar in some way. We should probably talk about this in more detail. Why does it matter? The coward flew away because it knew I was about to kick its ass. Let's get back to what's more important right now. Oh, right, yeah, the mill or the temple. I think we- No one cares. I'm going to the mill. You losers do what you want. Fine, but we're going with you. Whatever, just don't get in my way. Escobar, we will go save the mill and protect your food supplies. Aye, laddie, I've got ears. We'll send our soldiers to the temple. Once they're done, they'll head to the mill to reinforce its defenses. Have you got a map? Yes, we do, although it's quite torn apart. I show him. He reaches inside his armor and pulls out a piece of parchment. Here, take this, it's not been damaged. There's a couple notes I've added to it which may be of use to you. Good luck, lads. Thank you. We still have a problem, though. How do we leave here? The front gate is heavily guarded by that half-dragon and kobolds. There's a series of tunnels that can get you out. Take these. He hands you several keys. I'll write down some instructions for you as well. Hang on. There. Follow that route and that should take you in the right direction. Won't take you the whole way though, but enough to get you past that wretched lot. Okay then, guys, let's go. I'll show you to the entrance to the tunnel and he leads you to the base of the tower, out the door, across the courtyard, past Terry Winkles and the infirmary, to an iron gate with pitch black darkness behind it and a set of lit torches either side. He uses one of the many keys he still holds and you hear the loud squeak as he pulls the gate open. If you can't see in the dark, I suggest lighting some torches. And that there, gentlemen, is where we will end tonight's session. So I just did the equivalent of Biden's time in office Sweet fuck all. Should have stayed at home. Dungeon Master, just how long am I going to have to rhyme? 
Until you've completed a short rest, then the effects will wear off. You know, that wasn't so bad of a side effect. Perhaps I will get some of these potions before we head into the tunnel. Donald, you may want to think about getting some healing potions as well. Why don't I just get a big old sign that says pussy while I'm at it? I'll pass. Swole don't need that. Swole don't need nothing but his ax and his nips. I think sooner or later, you're going to regret trying to go all edgy and solo and realize we need to be a team. Like that will ever happen. Well, before we call it a night, can we make a plan of what we're going to do next? I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen, Shapiro. We'll be smashing our way through any enemy that dares get in our way. We're going to save all the people. I'm going to get myself some fine-ass bitches. Obama is going to rhyme a whole lot, probably cringe the shit out of it, and cry about his pathetic magic. Biden's character will die from something like falling over a leaf. And you'll be sold off to a cult member to be a bride for some dick cheese smelling bandit. You really know how to paint a picture. I just tell it like it is. What I mean is, what exactly will we do next session? I think we need to start actually planning ahead. Otherwise, we'll just be winging it all the time. If I may, I have a suggestion. What have you got? First, we go see one of the clerics here and get fully healed up. Then back to Terry Winkles for more potions. He seems to be okay with delayed payments, so we could potentially stock up. He may even have other things we didn't think about asking for, like magical items. We need torches for those who don't have dark vision. I also think we should see if there are blacksmiths here. We could find better weapons. Once we have everything we could need, we head into the tunnel following the route Escobar gave us. Once we're back outside, we sneak over to the mill and assess the situation. If they have a lot of kobolds over there, then precautionary action would be better. By taking them out one by one instead of as a whole group, will lower our chances of getting overrun. Once the area is cleared, then we head into the mill and make sure everyone is safe. We would only then need to help fortify the barricades until Escobert's guards show up. I like the sound of that. Count me in. I do too. I also had an idea. Remember when those cult members were talking? They mentioned about a type of greeting, something like hand outstretched with all five fingers showing. What if we managed to find some cult members, steal their robes, and pretended to be one of them? It might be easier to blend in. Can't believe I'm saying this, but that is actually a good idea. Now, I'm not one to be stealthy, but I, I kind of like the thought of kicking some cult members' asses and stealing their shit. We'll just need to find some first. I, I guess if we're surveying the area, we might hear some chatter about where some of them are. Then I think we're all in agreement for what to do next? Looks that way. I'm up for this plan. Fuck it, let's do this. I like that you're starting to show teamwork. This is good. You're gonna need it. Until next time, gentlemen, good evening. <laughs>